What is going on guys, it is Bucky and welcome to your 37th JavaScript tutorial and in this tutorial I want to go over something called the date object. Now the date object is a really useful built in object whenever you're working with the date and the time. So what it does is whenever you create a date object it goes ahead and it grabs the current date which is in this case 331 2011 and it also grabs the current time which is 321 p.m. So let's go ahead and before I get into the date object even more I want to show you guys a special function that we're going to be using and that's called the set interval function so what the set interval function does is it, oh, someone's texting me hold on let me see who it is hmm some girls macking on me sorry girl you're gonna have to wait I'm doing a tutorial so anyways what the set interval function does is it runs a function however however much time you want to increment it by so for example you can run a function every second or every five seconds so this is really hard to explain so I'm just going to show you guys an example so function we'll just name it like do something and what this function is going to do is just print something out on the screen so document write and just go ahead and write like tuna on the screen or something tune key a who the heck cares so set interval takes two parameters. The first parameter it takes is what function do you want to run? Well I'm just going to run that do something and make sure there we go it's the right one. Make sure I didn't have any typos. And the second parameter is the increment you want to run in and this is in milliseconds so if you write 1000 milliseconds that means one second. So now what's going to happen is this. You're going to have your function called do something and all this does is print something out on the screen and you're going to say run this function every one second so now if you go ahead and launch this in chrome it's going to say tuna 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 every single second so that's a pretty cool function um, again that's called the set interval function and the reason I want to explain it to you guys is because we're going to be using it in the program we're going to be building right now so anyways the program I'm going to be making is this I'm going to be making a basic clock and what this clock is going to do is each second it's going to give you what time it is. So it's going to say 323, 323 one second, 323 two seconds, 323 three seconds. So it's not going to be formatted nicely and it's not going to be real pretty because I only have like seven more minutes to make it. But I'm just going to try to explain to you guys what the date object is and how the date object is useful whenever you create things like clocks. So the first thing that we're going to be needing is a function that we're going to be calling every second. So go ahead and make a function and I'm going to name mine print time because all this is going to do is print the time out on your computer screen. Oh, got a hairball. Print the time out on your computer screen. So go ahead and make a variable called now and in order to make a new date object go ahead and press new date with empty parentheses and what this does is it's gonna go ahead and grab the current time of day and also the date and store it in a variable called now so now that variable called now holds the current date and the current time so it holds a lot of information but we want to access certain pieces of information such as the hours the minutes and the current seconds and what we're going to be doing with this information is just printing it out so let's go ahead and make a couple variables variables hours is going to be equal to now which is the day object and the method to get the hours in that day object is get hours so for example right now like I said it's 324 p.m. so it's gonna get the number 15 because 15 is the number of hours in military time of 3 o'clock the reason it doesn't grab 3 even though it's 324 p.m. is because if it just spit out the number 3 you wouldn't know if it was 3 a.m. or 3 p.m. so that's why it uh... whoever made JavaScript decided to get it in military time so this is gonna have 15 stored in the variable hours which is equal to 3 o'clock so now let's go ahead and make the variable minutes which is equal to now dot get minutes and like I said right now the current time is 325 so now this variable is going to be equal to 25 pretty cool huh and last but not least you can probably guess what I'm going to do now variable seconds equals now get seconds so this is the number that's going to be changing on our screen every time it's going to be like 15 16 17 18 and it's going to print out a new second every time since every second is going to be grabbing all that information 
and the seconds is going to be changing every time we print it out. So basically all these variables are doing are grabbing the current hours, the current minutes, and the current seconds. Simple enough. So now all we have to do is print it out on the screen. So document dot write and let me just go ahead and write it in a hours plus plus colon plus mins plus colon plus seconds and um, after seconds I'm just gonna add a line break because what we could do is make this appear on the same line but I'm just gonna make the new time appear on the new line every time since I don't have that much time to make a you know pretty looking alarm clock so um, I think this is good so what this is gonna do is it's gonna print out 15 26 30 15 26 31 15 26 32 so on and so forth so let's go ahead and check it out we now have a function that prints out the current time but now we have to use that set interval function that we learned before to call this function every one second so again like I said it takes two parameters the first parameter is print time or in other words what function do we want to call and the second parameter is how often do we want to call it 1000 milliseconds aka we want to call this function every one second so now let's go ahead and save it and launch in Chrome and I got a typo somewhere so hold on I'll find it for you alright guys I found my error I accidentally typed get menus instead of get minutes so now that I threw the T in there it actually should work now so let's go ahead and launching Chrome there we go 15 29 49 50 51 52 53 54 so every second it calls that function and again like I said I could have formatted this nicely so you know it maybe would have said three o'clock instead of military time and maybe I could have put it on the same line of having it instead of having it appear on a different line every time but hey I only have like 10 minutes to make these tutorials so that's what you get so basically what I want to show you guys in this tutorial is we can use the set interval function which is a built-in function in JavaScript to call one of our functions in a certain time increment in this case every second so in this example every second it called our function print time and all print time does is it use that date object to store the current time of day in the variable now and what we did is there are a bunch of different informations in that object three of them are get hours get minutes and get seconds we use those pieces of information to make a very simple clock on our website um, again the date object has a lot of different methods that are associated with it if I went through all the methods then it would take an awful lot of time and I don't have that much time in these tutorials it will take like 20 tutorials to teach you guys of all the different methods but if you want to learn those methods uh, go to the JavaScript website whatever the heck it is and you can check them out but anyways whenever you're working with dates such as building a calendar or times such as building an alarm clock this is the object that you need to use and this is how you create it right here so hopefully you guys learn the concepts of set interval and also how to use the date object for something in a kind of useful program so for now that's all I have for you guys so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video